Hey guys, welcome to my humble abode. Come on in. So when you first come in my room, if you go to your left, I have my built-in closet area. So in this first closet, I love this closet because it is my accessories closet. So at the top there, I have my hat collection. And then over here, I have my black tie wear gowns. I have my fragrance collection right there and my sunglasses collection and just my jewelry and my watch and my wallet, everything. On the bottom, I have my purses and scarves and things. Um, I have a few travel bags. Right here, I have a fire extinguisher and an umbrella because you never know when the elements are going to attack. Moving into the middle part here. Uh, the first thing I have up here I'm super proud of, it is my 100,000 subscriber plaque. And then I also have this little gold R I got forever ago. And then I have this really state-of-the-art old-school TV. Uh, I'm planning on getting an updated TV, it's just really low on my list of priorities right now. In these drawers, I have all that kind of like basic -y stuff, underwear and loungewear, leggings, things like that. But my favorite drawer is the bottom drawer because... It is my shoe drawer. Oh my god, I love it so much. I love being able to pull out my shoe drawer and just picking a pair. Continuing to my second closet in the built-in closets. So in here I have all of my clothes that are hanging. Um, as you can probably tell, they're organized by color. And then within each color, they're organized by sleeve length. Um, I actually learned that from the first style YouTuber I ever watched. His name is William Sled. And I just picked that up from his channel and still do it. And then on the other side of my closet, I have the box for my camera, which is a 6 D. I love my camera so much. And then I have my coffee table books for my non-existent coffee table. Um, I really love these though. This one's an Audrey Hepburn book from her looks from the 60s. And then I have a limited edition Audrey Hepburn Vanity Fair. And I have a book um, that has cocktail recipes called Gone with the Gin, which I just think is so funny and my brother got for me. Under that, I just have basic storage and some extra film stuff. I have like scissors, things like that. On the bottom here, I have my equipment storage. So I have my backpack camera bag. I have my camera bag from Ona Bags that looks like a cute purse, which I love. I have my drone, which I'm obsessed with. So that's where I keep all of that stuff. Moving on to this wall. I love this wall because it has not one, not two, but four giant windows on it. And it allows me to get really, really good natural light in here for when I'm filming. So I actually don't have any lighting because I just use the natural light that comes in from here. And I don't know, I just absolutely love that about this room. I really love sunlight, so it's, it's great. So moving right along, uh, next to my bed, of course, I have my bedside table. I was actually planning on getting rid of it, and then I realized I actually really need a bedside table, so I kept it around. On top here, I have a marble slab, and actually, it's really funny. I got that as a gift when I was a kid. Um, somebody gave that to me because you're supposed to keep it in the freezer, and then you can put ice cream on it and like mix in the toppings, and it'll stay frozen because it's on a frozen piece of uh, marble. Uh, but I didn't use it for a really long time, and one day I was like, oh my gosh, there's a piece of white marble in my freezer. That looked great on my bedside table. I know that's kind of like a really weird thing, but that's just how it happened. Um, and then I have a little Jo Malone candle right here, which I haven't used yet because we're still in a very, very hot summer. So I can't wait for fall so I can use that. And just a little lamp to provide some light. So the next part is my bed. And this is my favorite place in the entire world. I love my bed so, so much. I got the bed frame from Living Spaces, which I'm not sure if that's just in Southern California or not. Um, I just wanted like a really nice headboard that was black and kind of basic. Um, and I actually really didn't want a footboard, but this footboard is nice and short. Um, so it's okay, because I really wanted to be able to flop on my bed from three sides. <laughs> and then above my bed, I have this really awesome piece of art that I found at Home Goods, actually. And I just think it's really cool. It's like watercolor, it's really unique, and I love it, because she's wearing like a gown, or she could be in bed. Either way, I just absolutely love it. So, yes, this is my favorite place. Next to my bed, I have my chair. I'm obsessed with this chair. It is the first piece of furniture that I really invested in, and I got it custom covered in some black velvet, which I absolutely love. Black velvet's one of my favorite materials of all time. Then on top, I have this chenille blanket, which is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I knew I wanted a chenille blanket because they're so, so soft. And then I have this little footstool, which I love because it's fluffy and it's black, and it kind of reminds me of a little black sheep, so it's great. 
So on my wall right here, I have my second piece of art and I got this on uh, Joss and Maine or Wayfair. I'll have everything linked below. It's a picture taken from the inside of the Musée d'Orsay in Paris, France. And that was my favorite museum that I went to in Paris. And I just love it because it's just, I don't know, it's kind of like a trick too because it's like out a window, but the window's a clock because it used to be a station. Um, so I absolutely love this piece. So this is my file cabinet. I know that's super boring, but um, I have all of my important tax documents in there and just important papers and then um, it's like split in half so the other side is actually my hot tools for my hair um, and that is where I keep those because it's very conveniently located next to my vanity uh, yeah so the vanity was the first piece of furniture I bought when I was redecorating my room um, so I got it in this black color I love it it comes with this really cute vanity stool. Um, so yeah, and this is where I do my makeup every day. And then above that, I have this giant mirror that I do my makeup in, and it used to be gold, um, and I spray painted it black so it would match everything. I think it turned out really nice, actually. So that brings us to the end of my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday, and I'll talk to you very soon. See you later, guys. Bye. Oh,